Hola. That's Spanish for I'm making a scalding hot batch of paella to pour on my enemies. I'm miscommunication. If you're watching this, it means you're as passionate about language as I am about food crimes. Today's lesson will demonstrate how a mistranslation can leave you homeless. Let's travel to Barcelona. Meet Paul. He is an American backpacking through Europe after graduating college. Tonight he's staying in a hostel with Rafael, who is visiting Barcelona from Madrid. Paul is nervous to be away from the U.S. and was skeptical about sharing a hostel room with extraños, but hopefully Rafael can make him feel at home. Let's see how the situation unfolds. We should go out in the town tonight. You have to try Spanish tapas. When you're here, you're family, and I love family. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Tia! Come say hi to Paul. Hola. Dios mío. Paul and Rafael were becoming amigos until Anna entered the picture. What happened was that Rafael called his girlfriend Tia, which is used in Spain for addressing a friend. It's like how I call my pals bros. But Paul took Espanol 101 in high school, where he learned that tía means aunt. Let's see how the situation unfolds. Oh, uh, who's this? Sorry, Paul. Meet Anna, my forbidden love. Uh, hi. I've known Anna my whole life. But we only recently built up the courage to take our relationship to the next level. Please, I, I don't need to hear about that. Well, you see, our families, they didn't want this to happen. But we love each other too much. I was just telling Paul that we should take him out tonight. Yes, the more the merrier. Look, okay, will you guys stop that? That's gross. Excuse me? Look, I'm not going out with you guys, all right? You guys are disgusting humans. I'm not going to let you refer to me or to the love of my life as disgusting. Please get out of my room. What a terrible break for Paul. There were no other rooms for him at the hostal. So he had to go sleep on the street where he was sadly mugged. Let's give him a chance to redo the situation, this time fully aware of what Rafael means by tía. Hopefully he doesn't end up muerto de frío on the streets of Barcelona. You have to try Spanish tapas. When you're here, you're family. And I love family. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Tia, come say hi to Paul. Hola. It is so wonderful to see people so in love. And since I know that by Tia, you don't mean aunt, I'll be able to sleep tonight without feeling uncomfortable. Which reminds me, do you mind if my tia Karen crashes with us tonight? She's older, but she loves to party, and she's in town for work tonight. The more the merrier. Hey, Aunt Karen. Vamos a la fiesta! Yeah! What a wonderful ending. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for the ex-boyfriend I'm about to pour this on. But that's a tale for another episode. Adios!